Hey guys, it's Francesca. I'm gonna talk a little bit today about the COVID-19 infection timeline to help give you a sense of how long it takes for this virus to kind of run its course. And also hopefully to give you a better sense if uh, you know someone you know tests positive and you were around them at some point, whether you should be concerned that you may have been exposed to the virus. So hopefully this will be helpful. I'm gonna use my uh, handy whiteboard. So let's start with day zero which is when a person gets exposed to the virus. So you've heard that this term incubation period, that's the time in between when a person is exposed and when they get symptoms. And the average time is two to 14 days with most people getting symptoms about five days after they're exposed. Um, over 99% of people will have symptoms if they're gonna get symptoms within 14 days. So that's part of why if you've been exposed, we recommend a two week quarantine because most people, uh, if they're gonna get symptoms, will have them within that window. Once you get symptoms, uh, you kind of go one of two ways, right? You either end up with relatively mild symptoms and never need to be admitted to the hospital, and then you get better. On average, that takes about two weeks. And this is, we think, the vast majority of cases who are in this category. Unfortunately, some people, their symptoms get worse and they need to go to the hospital. On average, the time from when symptoms start to when somebody goes to the hospital is about a week. Once they're in the hospital, again, most people will eventually be discharged. They may still have symptoms, but they don't need to stay in the hospital. And on average, people who are discharged are there for nine to 10 days. Unfortunately, about one of five people who go in the hospital die from the virus. People who die, it actually, they tend to be in the hospital a little longer. They tend to be there for up to about two weeks. Now, there are people who go in the hospital, whether they live or die, who are only there for a day or two, and there are some people who are there for over a month, but these are the averages. And we don't know exactly what the long-term effects are for the people who have it and get better from it, but we do know that people can have symptoms for over a month after uh, they've started to have symptoms, some people up to two months. And there are other long-term effects if it causes blood clots and other types of problems. Okay, now you've heard about pre-symptomatic and asymptomatic spread. And basically when somebody is most contagious, there's pretty good evidence now that seems to show that it's about two to three days before symptoms start up to about a week after symptoms begin. So, if you were hanging out with somebody and a week later they get symptoms, you don't need to worry. It's it's they may have had they may have been exposed. The virus may be in their system, but they're not it's not at a level where they can pass it to others. It's very unlikely. Additionally, if you're going to get testing for the virus, um, the best time to do it is several days after your symptoms begin. The, if you do it too early, you know, for most people, it takes five days for symptoms to start, the level of the virus to get that high that they start to have symptoms. People who get tested on the day that they're exposed, like if you've taken a flight or you've attended a protest, it's always going to be negative. Unless, unless you've had a really high exposure and you're getting symptoms already, it's always going to be negative that day. And if you wait even four days after you've been exposed, still uh, about 70% of tests are gonna be negative in people who actually did get the virus. If you wait till two to three days after you get symptoms, there's about 20% of the tests that will come back negative saying you don't have the virus when you actually do. That's still too high. So if you have symptoms, it may be worth it to get tested again several days after you have a test that says you don't have the virus. It's just something to know. All right, the last group is this asymptomatic group. And we don't really know exactly how long that infection is with them, but they're exposed on day zero, they have positive tests at some point, and then at some point their tests turn negative. 
And when we do studies of this, unless we're doing repeat testing, one of the problems with getting what, how many people are in this group is that if we get somebody here, they're gonna have a positive test, but if we don't follow up with them, we don't know that they developed symptoms. So we're considering them asymptomatic, not having symptoms, when they're actually pre-symptomatic, meaning it's before they've gotten symptoms. But the best studies that we have right now for general populations suggest that about 30 to 40% of people will not have symptoms. All right, I hope this was helpful. I will be sharing more videos soon. I hope you enjoyed the view of my nose and my ears. There they are. Uh, all right, I'm gonna move this back and uh, I will be making another video soon. Stay safe, guys.